Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is Dinker77, and we are back on the survival multiplayer server. And I'm Claire down here at the bottom of my base. And you can see it looks a little bit different. And that's because I decided to work on making this look a lot better. And really all it is is just cleared out a couple more layers of the ground and threw in some white concrete and then over that put some orange glass. So you can see here I got at least one quarter of it done. It looks really, really good. I'm, I'm really happy with this. Um, but what I did during this process is I started to play with the replay bot, which is a way of doing your time lapses with some more camera control. And so I thought I would work with that and I'm gonna show you what I created uh, with the replay mod, the camera controls could be a little bit better. I'm still learning it, so I'd be interested in what you think I did. How did it work for you? An okay uh, time lapse. So let me show you what I did, okay? What did you think of that time lapse? Was that pretty cool? I liked it. I still have some work to do and to get some finesse with the replay mod, but I'm getting there. Isn't that awesome? But during the process of doing this build, there was a mishap. So it was getting dark and I decided I was gonna come up here and sleep. Of course, I was a little bit early, so I decided to put some things away into my storage system. And then I did finally go over and go to sleep, which is what we always do, right? So then I went to go back down to continue working on the build here. And you're going to see in a moment, um, my elytra didn't engage. So here we go. I, I kind of fell into my thing there. But anyway, we're coming along here. I come out and I jump off and it didn't engage and splat. Nice big explosion. So then I, you know, I respawned back at the bed. And I have a spare elytra. I'm, I'm, I'm a pro. I'm a pro. So I go in, I grab my elytra. And I hold it in my hand and I get ready to go again and come back down so I can go get my stuff. And I forget to put it on. And so I just jumped back to my death again and I died. So what's the plan for today? Well, today we're going to start one of our first big mega farms at the big base. And I think today it's going to be... A bamboo farm. So, if you recall my small little base here, I have a bunch of little bamboo. I shouldn't say a bunch. Six bamboo. And slowly over time, I've been gathering bamboo. I'm going to take this over to the main base because we're going to first set up the bulk storage and the then work on the item collection system. We're going to kind of build this in reverse so that we have that all prepped when we build the actual farm. So, I'm just going to gather up a lot of this bamboo here. We're going to throw it into here. <laughs> And take it back to base. The mob farm takes up these chests all the way around here, all the way up to this corner. So we have over here is basically sticks and glowstone. That's from the users from the witches and things. So probably these six are open. So I'm going to go around and work on the filters and put these in. And here we go. The filters are just about done. I've got six columns worth of chests. That should be plenty for what I want to do for storage. We can always expand it later if we wanted to because we got lots of space. But for right now, 
six will work. Okay, so now we've got that done. The next big thing is working on getting the items up from there. Because the farms are going to be down here. We have to get this transport tube set up. I'm going to work on probably in this quadrant here. So I'm going to have to work on getting the acacia trapdoors all the way up there. So that looks like it's a water stream. And get it pushing the items up. Okay, so that is the next step. Let me build out the tube. The tube is done. You can see it's right here. I have configured this to use soul sand so that it goes up pretty darn quick. And I've done a little test stream here so we can see the, the stuff go into it. So let's make sure this works here. So we're going to throw out some of this. You should see it just start to go up. I'm hoping it's going up. Let's uh, go and see here. Okay. Okay, it looks like it's already gone. Let's go on up and see. If they came up, it should be in one of these chests right here. You can see that it is filtering in, so that's good. So it looks like... This is working. Um, this is fantastic. Now let's get on to building the actual farm. This farm uses a lot of hopper minecarts. And if you saw my recent tutorial, I have a tileable design for a minecart unloading system that goes into a bunch of droppers. So we're going to put a dropper here. Okay, and it's facing inward. And you can imagine a, a water stream going here and then going on down and over into the tube. Okay, and then what we want to do is we want to have over here, you want to have a couple of observers like that. So that works out well. And then below here, we're going to have a, another dropper facing outward, just like that. Get rid of this block, that was just a temporary block. And we're going to have the observers here and another block, okay? And that really is the dispensing system that dispenses into the water stream. Then on top here, we're going to have a hopper going into the uh, dropper there. We're also going to put a block in front of that. And on top of this, we're going to have a powered rail. Now, this powered rail will then go out where this direction over here. And then we just do the basic uh, hopper minecart unloading system. And that's pretty easy. Let's get some of the other resources here that we need for that. So you can put a comparator right on top of this observer. And then you put a block on the edge of that block. You just put a torch just like that. You can hear a little clicks. Isn't that great? <laughs> you do that. You put a repeater. And then you put a block into that. And that's it. That's the entire system. You can see the powered rail is ready to go. So now I just got to build this up across here for the width that I would like my farm. And then we can start to put in the rails. Oh, boy. One of the trickiest parts is trying to get these rails to line up. And I found that if I do it this way, it seems to work. So I'm just getting the start of the rails going here. So we put one down. You can see they try to orient themselves other ways sometimes, but I found if I'm all the way at the edge here, this seems to work. So I'm going to finish this up here. Hopper minecarts are in place. I set up this temporary system here. So when I engage this lever, the slime blocks will push in, which should have these minecarts go off. So let's see if that works. Here we go. And there they go. That's awesome. Now I'm going to put down some bamboo here. Let's just uh, throw it out there a little bit. Of course, it's going into my actual hoppers. That's probably not good. Anyway, there we go. So they're going to come back and pick up. Now some of those will pick up and some of them will keep on going. Here we go. Go and they unloaded and then they are on. And so those went on to the water streams there. You can see them going on and they go on up. Excellent. And then if I'm done with the system, I can just turn it off. And so when they return, all of the hopper mine carts should stop. So here we go. And they're ready for the next uh, launch. Excellent. As you can see, I've got the dirt in. I've also got the lighting done so nothing can spawn here. And I have furnaces for immovable blocks because we're going to be having a flying machine. And then I have the rest of the walls are glass. This is to keep some of the bamboo uh, inside of the farm. It's a total of 16 high. That's the max that the bamboo can grow. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to plant the bamboo. And then we're going to work on the flying machines. The idea of planting it now is so that when we run the flying machine, there should be at least some bamboo that will uh, be picked up 
and we can make sure that it's working. So I want to get some bamboo planted right now. So we're just going to go along here and just like that, all of the bamboo is in. Let's take a look at this though from the sky. Let's see how this looks because I'm, I'm kind of excited to see what's going on here. There we go. That looks kind of cool. And right now I don't have the ends on so you can fly right through the tunnel here. But the bamboo's growing and that's what I wanted to see. So now it's time to work on the flying machine. I almost forgot what it was. The flying machine. That's it. It's the moment of truth. This flying machine is ready to go. As soon as I press that button, this block here should extend over this observer, which would start the whole process. And this machine should go all the way down to the other side. I've also put a mechanism down there, which should trigger it to come back. So hopefully that'll work. So let's uh, push the button and see what happens here. Wow. Wow, look at that. Just mowing the fields here. And then I can just right over here, kick off the pickup mechanism. And there it goes. And so we should be getting a lot of drops coming from this. Now, the hopper minecarts will have to go a few passes, obviously. But that's okay. Now, we are seeing some drops here that are on top of the blocks. I'm not sure that we can do anything about that. Um, but there they come back there, and they're unloading. You can see them all just kind of unloading. And look, we got all of our drops coming through. That's awesome. I'm going to turn this off real quick. I want to see if this thing comes back. And if you look there, guys, it's coming back. You can see the machine is coming back. And it should then stop when it gets to here. And if that worked, that means that everything's working great. I I'm really impressed with this first time flying machine farm for me. And there it goes. Okay, let's go pick up some more stuff here. <laughs> They're still unloading. <laughs> okay. This is my final test. I have <laughs> sealed everything in with the movable objects. So the slime block shouldn't grab everything. And it should start to run when I press this button. Here we go. And you can see it's working. Let's dispatch this and let's go see if we can get a better view of what's going on here. Wow, look at that. Okay, we're going to go over here. And over here is the mechanism that detects that the flying machine has arrived. And then it will... This block right there will be pushed over the observer, which will send it back. So it should be here in just a second. Here we go. You can see it's harvesting all of these pieces. You can hear it breaking. And if you watch, it'll get all the way over there and it will force it to go back. Now, of course, these aren't being uh, touched, so they'll just grow forever. But that's okay. That's not going to be that bad. We better go and dispatch some uh, minecarts. And this is what it looks like from under the farm where the water stream is. You can see all of the droppers are just spitting out all of the pickups that it had. And they're going up into the storage system. And if you recall, the way I designed the storage system is that if it can't pick up because the hoppers are full, the circuit goes all the way around and it keeps on circling until it gets picked up. And if it happens to despawn, well, that's so be it, you know. But it shouldn't happen after a little bit. This should be all done. You can see the items coming up. It's great. So they should all be right here. And these are the uh, chests that pick up the bamboo. So it's working fantastic. And let's take a look at the chests here. This is where the bamboo chests start. Wow. Okay, so it didn't pick up a lot on this one, but so it's probably spread out. It is spread out. Um, we've almost got full chests everywhere, which means the hoppers that are behind these are backed up. So, yeah, that's awesome. That's six double chests worth, plus, you know, some hoppers maybe have one to five uh, stacks in them as well. So uh, that's really, really good. Well, that project went really well. I'm very pleased with how this bamboo farm turned out. But this is not all of the farm. My intention is to have another one of these right here on this side. Because later on, I'm going to be using the bamboo as fuel for a super smelter. I want to make sure we have plenty of backup reserves to fuel that because it will eat through the bamboo. But this is looking fantastic. I know I've highlighted the welcome area to the server before. But we've had an influx of new players, so I thought I'd show what MomCrafter has done at the welcome area. Because what we do on this server is we have an armor stand, like here. This is an armor stand of me welcoming you. We have an armor stand put into the scene 
that has each of the players. So we have over here, we have Kiana Girl and her dog Sarah. And Icon is still here. He's doing, looks like some, uh, some landscaping, I would guess. And Zach, Zach is new and he is working with, looks like the jukebox. And Donut's here by the fire, tending the fire. We have Edge. He's right here. He's doing some stuff with some fish. And here's a Wooga. Wooga's another YouTuber, so I'll put his link down in the description. But he's doing some stuff with some Guardian Farms this uh, season, if you will. We have Bart Talon, who is always AFK fishing, but he's not right now. <laughs> and we have Flaming Jewel. Flaming Jewel is a great PvPer. And so we have a scene here, I guess. I don't know if PvPing me, but shooting an apple on top of my head. This was a great, great job with the armor stands. And uh, it looks fantastic. I even like this bench. I guess this is be where you get the hot seat. Oh boy, that was a dad joke. Anyway, and here we have Jude and Epic. They are sharing a you know bottled water here, and we have Thomas placing torches. We have Redcraft. He's doing some uh, farming here, and Crystal Tent. Now Crystal Tent uh, just joined. I mean, within the last three or four days. Okay. But already has more deaths than I do. I, you can see there I have 30 and he has 31. He's been having a lot of trouble with creepers. So we have a creeper. Don't get scared. Creeper won't do anything. But we have a creeper over here. And uh, we have pause player 10 falling from the sky. And a Jantus hanging from a tree. So we've got a bunch of people on the server now. And so when people come along here right away. Mom crafter says stop before you go get your head. That's how she's been doing this. People have been going in here. Taking the bow. Shooting themselves. And then once their head drops, putting in the chest, and she will put in a statue in for anybody who's new to the Patreon server. This is a great scene, and it's slowly growing. I really like this. So uh, thank you, Mom Crafter, for all of this that you've done. This is fantastic. Well, guys, I really need to get to editing this video. It's taken a lot longer than I thought to get this out to you, and I do apologize for that. We built up all of this orange glass that's around the base of the base. Base of the base. And this big farm here, the bamboo farm. So it, it took me a lot longer than I expected. So I got to get to editing. Anyway, if you like this video, please click that like button. If you have any comments, put them down in the comments section. And if you would like to be notified of the videos that I produce, please subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you get all the notifications, okay? Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.